Hello friends and welcome to Life in Envelopes. I am Jennifer Bleacher. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me for the week of September 2nd through September 8th. I'm using the kit September 324. You guys, this kit is so gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, it, you can see it. You can see how pretty it is on camera, but in real life, it's even more beautiful. It's just such a beautiful kit. So I am using what is called the Universal Kit. And these are all the pages that you get in the Universal Kit. And then I have this one add-on, which is called the Ombre Boxes. So when you purchase a Universal Kit, you get a sheet of full boxes, a sheet of functional boxes, thick washi, medium washi, thin washi, date dots, and the classic headers. So you get seven pages of stickers. And uh, those pages are also available for purchase individually. So if you don't want the whole universal pack, you can just purchase the pages that you do want. Right now I'm going through my script sticker notebook and I'm picking out all the script stickers that I think I will use this week. And I'm putting them on a, like a, it, this is, the wax backing of a sticker sheet for like that I've used in the past that I just kept the backing and then I can reuse it for stickers like this. Um, my stickers are removable but on, of course on the wax paper they remove even even more easily. <laughs> so I'm pulling everything off and then I'm going to get my stickers laid down. So I was kind of thinking before I did the plan with me today I was thinking I might need to switch to an hourly planner. Now that I'm working a full-time job, I feel like I need to be more organized with like what I accomplish hour to hour. Um, but then the, the plan with me worked out beautiful this week. So maybe I don't need that. <laughs> I haven't decided. Maybe, I, maybe I'll get one. I'm not sure. Um, so a lot has changed since my last plan with me. I have started my new full-time job and Jacob, my oldest son, he has started college. So he is going to school full-time and he's still working. He's still bartending and he's still working for me in the Etsy shop. So he's doing all of that. He's very, very busy. And my youngest son, Logan, who just started seventh grade this year, he is now in full-time school because um, he was, in case you're new, he was doing homeschool with me for the last three or four years he's been um, in homeschool with me. So this is the first year where he is doing in-person school for several years. So it has been, we just finished our first full week of school. I've actually been back to work for two weeks now because I, I did have one week where we didn't have students and then last week was the first week where we had students. Um, also, in case you don't know, because <laughs> I just went back to work myself, what I was doing before was I was at home. I was homeschooling Logan, but I was also running my Etsy shop, which is the, the stickers you see here, and I make other stickers as well. But I was running my Etsy shop, making YouTube videos. Yeah, those were my main sources of income. And last year when I got divorced, um, you know, I just, I went for one year continuing to do that. And I realized I just, I need more income if I'm going to be able to accomplish the goals that I want to accomplish. So now I am working full time as a teacher again. I, I, I am a retired teacher, so I'm back to the classroom. Uh, I have a new position this year. I Before I was an elementary school teacher and now I'm working with high school students. So it's very different, but it's also very fun and exciting and new. And I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I'm having a good time. So I'm back to work full time. I'm still running my Etsy shop and I'm still trying to make as many YouTube videos as I can, but um, that I feel like has really gone by the wayside as I'm adjusting to my new life and my new schedule. But I'm so like this week, my plan is to get up two YouTube videos, which is about half as many as I used to do. So um, eventually I'm going to get back to the place where I'm having three or four videos a week. But this week doing two videos, I think is pretty good, pretty good start. 
So I'm starting off this plan with me by putting all the large elements down first, and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna fill in like the more detailed um, items. So I did a medium washi across the top, and I decided to go all the way across the top, even into the column, the sidebar column. Um, sometimes I do that, sometimes I cut it off at the sidebar column but um, this week I wanted to use, use as much of this pattern as possible because I just think it's such a gorgeous pattern. So I did the medium washi all the way across, then I did a thin washi underneath it, then I have two more thin washies going across the page to, slip, to split up the three sections, and then I did a thick washi all the way across the bottom. So these are the classic headers. I also offer paintbrush headers in the shop, but that is an add-on option. So if you'd prefer to have paintbrush headers instead of the classic headers, you can always um, order those. That is an option. So for the three separate sections, what I'm going to do in the top section, the top row, I'm going to be putting all of my family information. So um, any appointments, meetings, uh, work schedule, all of that is gonna go up in that top row. And then the middle row, that's where I put my ombre boxes and I like to put down the most important tasks that I want to accomplish for my Etsy shop. I'm gonna put those in a, like a, a to-do list format in that middle section using ombre boxes and to-do stickers. And then in the bottom row, I'm going to put my YouTube schedule, um, which is the day that I want those videos to come out or that I'm planning on having those videos come out. So far, my new job has not been hard at all. It's actually very, very simple, very easy. I am working with students who have been suspended and I'm just helping to keep them on track. And I don't have to do any lesson planning. I don't have to do report cards or grading or field trips or parent-teacher conferences. So it's very different from what I used to do. Plus the students I'm working with, they're so much they're so much more mature than my elementary students. So like they're very independent and they're just sweet and mellow and it's just been really good so far. It's been really good. The hardest part is having, so I get up around 6 a.m. and then my shift starts at eight. So I have to be there and start working by eight o'clock and then I work till four. And then I usually get home around 4.30. So I'm from like 6 a.m. to 4.30 every day of my life, well, Monday through Friday, is, is blocked out so that I can do this new job. So anything extra that I wanna do beyond my job has to occur either before 6 a.m. or after 4.30 p.m. And I've been going to bed around 9 p.m., 10 p.m. I'd like to go to bed, I go to bed around nine and then probably fall asleep by about 10. So I just feel like, I have a lot less time to get everything done that I want to get done each week because as I said, I'm still trying to run the Etsy business. You know, I'm not homeschooling anymore and homeschooling used to take up uh, four hours a day. So I do have that, but um, still it's, the, I guess what I'm trying to say is the work I do is not hard. It's the length of time that I do it that is hard. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm laying down all the script stickers into these, what they're called half boxes. And the way I designed my script stickers is they're, they're designed to fit exactly, like they're the same size as that white box inside the half box. So um, it all fits together. So you can use my stickers together. So all of those, they're called large box script stickers. They all fit in the half boxes there. So I thought I had, work script stickers and I might but I just checked my inventory and I didn't have any printed so I just wrote out work and then I wrote out my work schedule which is eight to four and I actually have today off which is Memorial Day happy Memorial Day guys so I was able to make this video this week I think going forward I'm going to try to make my plan with me on Sunday evening and then post it on Monday morning that will be my goal going forward but <laughs> I've just been like playing catch up, you know, like just trying to squeeze in as much as I can when I can. And this is when I had time to film it this, this week. So today, Monday, I don't have school and neither does Logan. 
Um, I don't know if Jacob had school today or not. Probably not he, for his college, but I haven't seen him. He, com he comes and goes, so I haven't seen him today. Um, and then I'm also going to try to pick up groceries later today, so I put that sticker down. And then on Thursday night, I have a date night. I'm going to go out and have dinner with a friend of mine. Her name is Cheetah. She's my friend from Turkey. I told you guys about her before, so that's happening on Thursday. And then Friday, Logan and I will do a fun Friday celebration. We always do something fun on Fridays. Um, I think this week we're going to try and go to a movie. We do that quite a bit. That is usually our fun Friday activity, but sometimes he has friends over on Friday night or we choose to do something else, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Like, we don't know what's going to come out on Friday until like Tuesday at our, our local theater. They post their Friday schedule on Tuesday, so we'll know by Tuesday what's playing and if there's something there that we want to see. And if there is, then we'll do that on Fun Friday. And then as far as Saturday and Sunday go, for my family. I don't have anything planned yet. Um, so I am going to put two full boxes there in just a moment and just leave them there. And perhaps I'll add something later in the week. So um, I decided that I feel like there's some things being left behind now that I'm at work, like as far as upkeep with the house. So I decided to write down some plans and reminders. Like I, remind, I wrote, had a reminder that Thursday is trash night. And then on Tuesday and Wednesday, I am... I was thinking um, that Logan and I could work together to accomplish a couple of goals. So on Tuesday, I have clean bathrooms. So I'm going to clean my bathroom and I'm going to have Logan clean his bathroom at the same time. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to have Logan go out and help me weed the garden on Wednesday evening. So we will do those tasks after work on Tuesday and Wednesday. And that's really the only nights I have open. <laughs> Thursday I'm having dinner with Cheatham and Friday Logan and I will do Fun Friday. So I thought I could just each week either come up with new new tasks for us to do or we can have like uh, tasks that rotate. It's like maybe every Tuesday will be our clean bathroom night. I don't, I don't know. I'm still working all those details out. Okay, so I did fill in the bottom row there with the two videos that I have coming out this week. The first one was this plan with me, which is what you're currently watching. And I also have a vlog it will be coming out. I think I put it on Thursday night. I have it covered up right now, so I can't see. Yeah, I put it on Thursday, but it might come out on Wednesday. We'll just have to see. I'm actually going to be done filming it well by tonight because it is a vlog that I, I've been doing over this weekend, the three day weekend, I've just been vlogging. And I think that's what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna keep up with the vlogs, I think I'll vlog on the weekends and then post them later in the week. Um, because during the week, I don't know, we'll see. Everything is up in the air. <laughs> but that's my plan for this week, at least. That's, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna use the sidebar to set up my AM and my PM routine. And I do play with this quite a bit and move the stickers around a lot to get it all to fit and look even. So it takes a minute for me to get it all like perfect in the way I like it. But that's what I've decided to do on the sidebar there. So as far as my AM routine goes, the things I want to accomplish before I leave for work in the morning is I start out my day with AM yoga. It's just a 10 minute yoga session and it's all about very gentle stretching and waking up the body for the day. And then I do shower, hair, and makeup, and I put that all together on one sticker, SH for shower, H for hair, and MK for makeup. And then I want to eat breakfast before I leave the house. So those are the three things that I want to accomplish for my AM routine and then for my PM routine. So starting at 9 p.m. before I go to bed, I want to make sure that the kitchen is clean. So I have clean KT for kitchen. I want to wash my face and do all of those, you know, um, like evening bathroom routines. And then I want to meditate before I go to bed at night. I am very much of a routine person and I just really thrive in routines. So the stronger my routines are, the more successful I am in accomplishing my goals. So I, I will also be setting up my to-do 
list for work in a moment here and it's it's kind of the same thing i have a routine that i do each week and if i can stick to that routine then i feel like i stay on track as far as the etsy shop goes so i wanted to sh i just wanted to point out here this is where i'm putting the two full boxes down for saturday and sunday on the family row and i actually end up moving the weekend sticker from the bottom up to the top there um, because the bottom is my YouTube row and there's really nothing going on during the weekend. So I decided to put it up there. And doesn't it look cute? <laughs> I think that looks really cute um, with the full boxes. So I didn't like the way the sidebar was looking here. So I grabbed my medium washi and I put a piece there just to kind of fill in that white space. And then I was like, eh, don't like that either. <laughs> so I'm gonna take that off and then I'm going to space out the stickers just more evenly. I, I just play with them until they're more like evenly spaced out. And then um, I'm gonna move on to the to-do list. So um, I usually like to tell you guys about what I'm reading and what I'm watching when I do these plan with me. So I'm currently reading the book. Bear Town, and I believe they've made it into a movie or a series. I don't know what platform it's on though. I looked up Netflix today and on Max, and it wasn't on either one of those. So I have to figure out if it actually is a TV show or a movie um, where it is, because I, of course I would like to watch it <laughs> when I'm done reading the book. I am enjoying the book. There's a lot of misogyny in the book that really bothers me, but besides that part, I'm enjoying this story. This is a story of a hockey team in a small town in, I believe, I'm pretty sure it's in the United States, but near the Canadian border. And uh, it's a small town and like their biggest thing is their hockey team. Like that, like their little high school hockey team is like a really big deal to everybody. And I love shows and books and movies about small towns. It's kind of one of the things I really like. I don't know anything about hockey. Hockey's not my thing, but I am enjoying reading about all the different people in this town and how this, how their lives have evolved over time. And, and it's just, it, I'm enjoying it. I think it's a good book. It's very different from what I normally read. I normally like to read books about women or girls and their life experiences. And this is like 90% of the characters that they focus on are boys or men. So it's a little bit different in that way. But I was thinking that Logan might like to watch the show with me if there is a show. So that's the book I'm reading. I'm not done with it yet so I can't tell you my total thoughts on it but at this point I'm enjoying it it's an entertaining read and then Logan and I just finished Stranger Things and um, now he and I are looking for a new show to watch you know like when you finish a good show and you're like oh now what do I do that's where we're at at this point we're looking for a good show to watch I it, we really enjoyed rewatching Stranger Things we started it this summer and then we just finished it this week we usually eat we usually eat dinner together and watch a show together while we're eating but here's the final look Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, will you please give it a thumbs up? And I will see you again next time. Bye everyone. Stickers placed. Stickers placed.